Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining in. Welcome to Edureka webinars. So team, in today's session, we'll be looking into the full stack developer formula. So as you know, with most of the companies that are coming online, whether it is the offline company or the, the business which is in offline, or they are online. So everyone requires the online presence because the today's generation is online i mean everyone are in social media and online platform is going to help these businesses to serve as a front end for their businesses so that is where the role of full stack developer plays a major role in today's uh, it requirement and the it world as we progress in today's session this is how our sessions agenda would look like we will understand what is full stack web development? The layers of full stack web development, the types of web developers, and why should you practice the full stack web development? How to become a full stack developer and the important tools and technologies which you have to master in order to become a full stack developer. So let's get started, okay? So let's get started and now let us start by understanding what is full stack web development? So when I say full stack web development, so uh, here a full stack web development involves both front end and the back end web development. Now the person who is going to do this activity is called as a full stack web developer. So hence, we call the full stack developers are someone who is jack of all trades because he's the one or he or she is the one who is responsible for building both front end as well as the back end of the web development. Now, these full stack developers are knowledgeable in every level of how a particular web is going to work. So I can say that these full stack developers is someone who has a good understanding about how the web works at each and every level. This would include setting up and configuring the Windows or the Linux server, coding the server side APIs, running the client side of the application with the help of JavaScript, operating and querying the databases, and also structuring and designing the web page with the help of CSS, HTML, and the JavaScript. Okay, so that's the expectation or the role of this full stack web developer. Now, here, when we talk about the layers of full stack web development, so here, there are various layers. So we have got the presentation layer or a front end. Okay, and we have the, uh, like, we have the back end. Okay, and we also have the database. So these are the uh, three things that we generally have whenever we have got the full stack web development. Now presentation layer is a layer where the users will interact with the website. So you can think of it as a, uh, like you can think of it as uh, what we call it as the, uh, like as a place where the users, where your end users will be interacting the application. That is your web application. And then we have got the backend or a logic layer. Now this is a place where you will write your logic or the customization by saying as, okay, if the user performs this action, this program or this script to trigger or this activity should happen. And this is called as a backend. And then we also have the third layer, which is called as a database layer. And this is where all the data related to the user and the application will be stored. So this is called as a database layer. So these are the important parts of a web application. Now, when we talk about the web developer, okay? When we talk about a web developer, let's look into the types of web developer. If I talk about the web developer, there are basically, we have got the front-end developer. Now, front-end developer is the one who is responsible for the presentation layer, like in that scenario. So the front-end developers will be aware of the skill set like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and using this, they will be able to provide the efficient animation and the effective way as how my website would look like or a web application would look like. 
So that's the role of this front-end developer. And then we have got a back-end developer. A back-end developer is the one where, where like this, he or she is responsible of controlling as how my application should behave. Like an example, so this person will be aware of the uh, like the programming like Java, .NET, PHP, and Ruby. Using this, he or she will be developing the backend. And then, uh, when we talk about the full stack web developer, so full stack web developer is someone who is aware of not just front end, not just back end, but also the overall both front end and the back end. And that's whom we call him or we call her as a full stack web developer. Okay, now that you have understood about what exactly is a, a full stack developer and how does a full stack developer would look like, let's understand as why you should prefer or why should you become a full stack web developer see when we talk about the roles and responsibilities of a full stack developer i can say that as a full stack developer you should be well acquainted with the system architecture and the infrastructure this would include the hardware and the operating system and as a full stack developer, you are expected to create and design the front end using the HTML, CSS and the JavaScript and build the interactive UIs with the help of JavaScript frameworks like React.js, AngularJS, Vue.js, Ember and so on. And as a full stack developer, you are expected to perform the server side APIs like you are expected to code the server side APIs and the backends by making use of the programming languages like Python, Ruby, Java, PHP and frameworks like the Node.js. And it is expected that you manage and operate the relational database management like the MySQL, MongoDB, SQL, and so on. And you should be well versed with the project management tools and the client coordination. So this is how uh, uh, the roles and responsibilities would look like. Now, when we talk about this full stack development, so here, as I mentioned, you are expected to make use of a variety of tools to build the interactive UIs, and you are responsible for designing and developing the application. And you are someone who will be uh, like, who is responsible for creating an end-to-end -end application. And that's the reason that a full stack developer role is the one, which is one of the high paid jobs that we have got in the current world. Now, this is because the full stack web developers are someone who not only know the front end, but also the back end. OK, so that's the reason that now is the right time to become a full stack web developer. Now, when I talk about this full stack web development, OK, what are all that you would generally come across? As I mentioned, you will be making use of the HTML, which is nothing but the hypertext markup language. So you'll make use of this HTML to design the front end and not just HTML in some scenarios. So you'll also make use of the CSS, which is known as cascading style sheet, which using this, you will be able to perform the formatting and add the color coding for the required elements in your HTML web page, like formatting the containers as you see right here and changing the colors of the containers as you can clearly observe and you can mention the click action what should happen when you click something so all these things that you'll be doing it with the help of css and then you will also make use of the javascript to create the front end like you'll create a javascript which uh, which will be running with the help of javascript engine where when the users interacted with the object the script will be run and the required animation will be produced to the user like when the user clicks on this uh, uh, button then you can go ahead and generate an action that says as a welcome page should be displayed so that is the overall role of this front end development 
and here as a full stack developer you're also responsible for a backend web development so let's see how does the backend web development would look like in case of the backend development let's say if someone mentions in the search box as edureka and let's say he presses the enter key so this request will flow to my web server and this web server is going to process this request and so once the request is processed the data is sent back to the front end and then here uh, it like it can directly send the data to the front end by performing the logic or in some scenarios the request might go to the database and you may get the data from the database and this data will back will be sent back to the web server and then you can go ahead and send the data back to the front end now for performing this backend you can make use of the various options like java php node js you can make use of all these uh, abilities in order to configure the backend okay and here you'll also be required to know about the relational database like mongodb mysql and sql okay so these are the important tools that you will be generally coming across as a front end and as a back end as a full stack web developer now when we talk about the tools and technology let's have a look into the important web development tools and technology so first thing is code editors so code editor is nothing but it's the ide interactive development environment which you will be using it in order to create a code so one we have got the visual studio okay so visual studio is a most popular tool from microsoft which will be using it to write the code or the other one is the sublime text which is a sophisticated text editor where you will use it for coding markup or writing the prose and so on so these are the two most commonly used tool when it comes to the ide then we have got the knowledge of the version control system like a git so using the git based repository we will be tracking the code so using this git uh, based repository so or the git based system you will be tracking the version code of the entire web application hence the knowledge of the git is very essential for you because when you are working in a project so multiple people or multiple developers will be working and each developer or each team will be working on the individual parts of the application to keep everything in sync we make use of the git based repositories so this would ensure that the code that we have got is the error free and this will give us the effective management of branches when multiple people are actually running uh, the system in the system and this will also give us the ability to uh, say as like if some code version is not working so we can make use of the ability to uh, get back to our uh, the previous version of the code that is currently running so these are the benefits that we would get uh, whenever we are working with the version control system okay then the knowledge of javascript frameworks so the like that's another essential thing that you need to be aware while working so knowledge of javascript framework is very important and the setting up the connection and uh, like get, getting the request and sending the response to the api that is http and rest so this is the knowledge like the basic knowledge is very essential for the full stack web developer because from the client you will be getting the request and this request you have to send it to the server in some scenarios you'll have to set up the connection between server and the database so that you can fetch the data from the database and send back the uh, send back the requested data to the client so the knowledge of html and the server will come in very handy okay so these are the important skills that you should be aware of whenever we are talking about this full stack web development or the web developer role now apart from these guys okay so uh, here when we talk about this full stack web developer so even you can check out the various 
uh, job trends as well. So full stack web developer is the one. Uh, he, it's one of the highest pay, paying salary that we have got right now. Now, if I want to give you a, some idea about the job description of the full stack web developer. So this is one of the job description from IBM, which describes about the requirement of the full stack web developer, which says web development using HTML, CSS, framework based language like JavaScript with Angular or React, the backend language, it could be Node.js, Ruby, Python, Java, PHP, storage and databases like SQL, NoSQL, web storage and scaling, and repositories, Git, typical web application design and development philosophy. So as you can clearly see overall, when we talk about the skills that is required for the full stack web developer, as a full stack developer, you should have an in-depth understanding of working with the system architecture web architecture and the communication protocols like HTTP, TCP IP, and so on. And as a full stack developer, you should be skilled in working with the development operating systems like Ubuntu, CentOS, Windows, and so on. And it is required to understand the function of the web server like NGINX or Apache server. And you should have a basic designing ability, which is expected in UI UX designing and the proficiency in front-end technologies like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. The expectation to design and develop the user interface using the web development framework and the libraries like jQuery, React, AngularJS, and you should be having a solid understanding about, I can say the server-side languages like Java, Python, PHP, Ruby, and the server-side frameworks like the Node.js. You should be well-versed in operating and querying the relational databases. It could be NoSQL database management as well, like the MongoDB, SQL, and MySQL. And you should be comfortable in operating and managing the version control system like Git or the subversion. So apart from this, so like as you start working with the project, you'll also be introduced with the various project management tools like Scoro, Jira, and so on. Okay, so that's the overall expectation of a full stack web developer. Now, if I want to give you a high level view about the various concepts or the technologies that you should be learning, see under the front end, we have got the HTML. So HTML5, JavaScript, jQuery, CSS, we have got backend, we've got Ruby on Rails, PHP, Angular 2, Node.js, .NET under the database, we've got MySQL, MongoDB. So you can clearly get to know about the various, yes, the various technologies that is expected for you to become the successful full stack web developer. So with this, we come to the end of today's session about how to become a full stack web developer and the importance of full stack web development especially in the current world. And I look forward to seeing you on the next session. So thank you so much, everyone.